Hello everybody and good morning. Well, hola and Lavas from Valencia. So I'm the Lost Brit and today I wanted to do a comparison basically, reminiscing a little bit about my my old city in Lithuania, Kaunas. Whilst I'm here on this, this gorgeous beach in Valencia. As you can see it come down at a really good time. There's not too many people around. It's nice and quiet. But anyway, what I thought I'd do, instead of doing a comparison between Lithuania and Spain, because I don't really think I can give you a kind of honest opinion on that yet, I thought I'd give you a comparison between Kaunas and Valencia. Now, here's my five key differences between the two cities. So, vamos. Okay, so on this video, we're gonna avoid the differences, like the really obvious ones, like as is the temperature and location, because I think anyone could, could know about them, right? You don't need to come to Valencia or Kaunas to, to have a guess at them. So in total, I think I've spent, you know, quite a significant amount of time in Valencia, especially in the last year and a half. So I'm in quite a good place to talk about some of the, the points here. And the first one, the difference between the two cities is actually to do with the landscape. In terms of, interesting enough, Kaunas being quite hilly, even though it's in Lithuania, which is significantly more flat than Spain. And Valencia being very flat. It's very, very easy to cycle around the city, walk around the city actually quite quickly. Um, even though it's in Spain, which has significantly more mountains in it. So, first difference, landscape. Kaunas, hilly, Valencia, flat. So, difference number two is just to do with the sheer size, basically. Kaunas, even though it's Lithuania's second city, has roughly just shy of 300,000 people. Okay, whereas in Valencia, being Spain's third largest city, there's well over 800,000 people living in, like, let's say the metro kind of area. Now, these statistics are always a little bit hard to understand, but we can say that Valencia is significantly bigger than Kaunas, basically. So, perhaps due to the nature of, I suppose, the countries that these cities are in, one being obviously Spain and the other being Lithuania, significantly more cafes and bars and restaurants I've discovered anyway, kind of dotted around Valencia. It seems pretty much wherever you go in Valencia, you'll find somewhere to, to go for a nibble or have a, have a quick drink, let's say. In Lithuania, well, not Lithuania, in Kaunas specifically, my experience was I was gonna need to go into the center for that. Um, you know, you have a lot of good cafes and bars and, and restaurants kind of around Lice Vesalea and in the old town. But once you kind of get outside of the center, you're not gonna find too many places, let's say. On that note quickly, guys, I used to have this amazing cafe that I would visit called Chaika in Kaunas, and I haven't found anywhere yet in Valencia that does some really nice vegan cakes. So if anybody's watching from Valencia and can give me a good recommendation, please leave it in the comments below. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my third point, is on the number of cafes and bars and kind of where they're located. Valencia seems to have significantly more you can find them anywhere, basically. So, point four has to be on, well, methods of transport. So, when you're in Valencia, you can get on a bus, you can get on a tram, you can even take the metro around the city. In Kaunas, you won't find a tram or a metro, however, you will find a good old fashioned trolley bus, which, uh, which I, do, I do enjoy going for a ride on. Okay guys, so for my fifth and final point on differences, I actually wanted to talk about languages. So maybe you can see up there, I don't know if you can read it, I had to get off the beach to show you guys this. So up there it says, well, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Carrer de l'Estoriador Coloma. Okay, now, and it also says that on the other side there. So uh, you may be wondering, what language is this? Well, even though we're in Spain, Valencia has, I suppose, two official languages, from my understanding, 
both Spanish and Valenciano. And this is something which interests me quite a lot. I have a pretty good level of Spanish, um, but whilst I'm here in Valencia, I'd be quite interested to learn a little bit more about the Valenciano language. But anyway, enough on me. Um, so the difference is that Lithuania, well, and Kaunas, Kaunas specifically, in my, from my understanding, and he has one official language, which is Lithuanian. Uh, now in the past, that might not have been the case, but I believe now that is the case. So yeah, just Lithuanian in Kaunas, whereas in Valencia, you can find both Valenciano and Spanish. But don't let that year, like confuse you or anything. You'll find plenty of things in, in Spanish here. And from my understanding, the, the, well, the basic Valenciano anyway, I don't know a lot about this language, but um, it's quite similar to, to standard Spanish. So you'll see street signs here that say Carrer instead of Calle, Calle, however you want to pronounce it. Um, yeah, in Spain, in Valencia, not Spain. Um, so yeah, so anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed seeing a few of these differences between Valencia and Kaunas. Obviously they're, they're massively different cities for a number of different reasons, but I suppose like any cities, there are gonna be some similarities. Both are very beautiful places and hold their own, their own beauties whilst somewhere like Valencia does obviously have a beach. Uh, there's plenty of things to attract you to Kaunas in terms of this, this lovely natural beauty that you'll find there as well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of these differences. There's plenty of similarities between these two. And on that note, Ike, Ate, Visoguero, Adios, and of course, ciao. So bye from me.